Okay, so it's Tuesday, February 22nd, and I have so much stuff to do, and I'm feeling very unproductive. I don't feel like doing anything, so I want to, I want to make a to-do list for today of the stuff I need to do at work, outside of work. I just, it's just a lot going on. I need to um, place an order to pick up today um, at the container store. I need to order something to organize my laundry room a little bit more. And I need to enroll in a class. I need to pay a bill. I need to work on this dashboard at work. Um, yeah, I just have a lot to do today and Usually when I'm feeling unproductive, a to-do list will help me because I can just check off or mark off everything that I've um, everything that I've done. So I'm going to write down my to-do list for today and I'm going to see how much I can get done. So we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. been a totally unproductive day. I think I jinxed myself earlier when I said I feel unproductive because I've not accomplished very much on my to-do list. I've checked off two items, which was um, placing my order to container store and um, paying some bills. That's about all I've done. I've been working on this Tableau dashboard and I am realizing that I'm gonna to have to create 25 worksheets in order to get done what this client wants. And I'm trying to find a workaround for it, but I have not found one yet. And I have a teammate that's really good at Tableau, but I can't message him because our Slack is down, which is adding to my unproductive day. Um, and I just don't wanna email him. I'd rather just re do some research, try to figure it out on my own and see if I can but all of the tableau um like forums where people can you know message in their issue or they you know type in their issue and people respond so far all the forums that I've seen um, have said that they've had to create all these worksheets in order to get the dashboard um view that they want so I've started working on the worksheets. I've done five of the 25 that I will need. Um, yeah, I just, I'm still trying to figure out if there's another way. I'm going to keep searching. So that's that with work. Um, and I did my, I think I said, I did my order for a container store, but it's not going to be available for a couple of days. So I will probably um, just work on, I'll probably, I will probably vlog another work day that day and go pick it up probably on my lunch break and maybe show you guys me setting it up and um, organizing my laundry room a little bit better because I want to get one of those over the door systems to get that a little a little better um, I want it to look a little better so that's that um, so I'll probably vlog a little bit of that work day 
and hopefully it's in stock um, or it's available for me to pick up on Thursday too. So that's it. I'm going to um, get back to work and I will probably check in with you guys on Thursday, maybe Thursday. We'll see. But I'll check in with you guys when I um, vlog another day this week. Okay, you guys, I just got a knock on my door and UPS just delivered this rug, which, oops, let me cover up my ankle, but I wasn't expecting this rug until the end of the week. I ordered it from Overstock to replace this rug in my bedroom and it wasn't supposed to be here till Friday. I just ordered it yesterday, literally just ordered it yesterday and it's here. So I'm going to try and do this today, I guess. I hope it looks good. Here's the new rug. Oh my, my slipper socks. But here it is. It doesn't look as blue, which I'm happy about. Hey, good morning guys it's Wednesday and yesterday I think I left the vlog where I was getting my rug and I never showed you guys I put it under my bed yesterday after work and this is what it looks like so just wanted to show you guys that really quickly I really like it I think it's cute no issues so far with it so now I'm about to go to container the container store and pick up my order and i'll check in with you guys later. So I got my Alpha Door Wall Rack Solution. I'm gonna try and put this together. Um, I'm not on camera because I am on the Hot Mess Express today, but this is what I'm trying to replace it with in my laundry room. Um, this is just a shoe rack. I don't. I don't know what it's called, it's, but I know it's for shoes. I don't know what the name is, like shoe rack, shoe tower, shoe hanger. I don't know, but it's for shoes. And I've just been putting just random cleaning, dish rags, whatever, putting that stuff in there. And I want to get it more organized so I can take this and throw this away. And I want to put it on the inner door. Like this is the... Um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the inside part, the inner part of my laundry door. So I want to put, put it here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on that. And I'll show you guys me trying to put this together. everybody's trying to be ikea with these um nobody writes instructions anymore everybody's just doing pictures so okay we'll figure it out all right okay i am consulting a youtube video I 
I don't understand. They gave me this and no instructions in the original paperwork what to do with it. Okay, so apparently I need to open this and screw it in somewhere. Jeez Louise, y'all. Okay, so this goes here. I gotta take the screws out first. Now. got me breaking a sweat. This ain't no joke, y'all. I did not know how to put this together. These instruct. This is trash. This is what we have so far. I don't know if I'm gonna leave these bins where I have them or adjust them, but this is what we have so far. This is tight. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. I know I was supposed to check in with you guys yesterday, but I did not. I just had a few more um, pretty much unproductive days. I, oh, I, I think the last time I checked in with you guys, I was showing you guys my, um, I was showing you guys the system that I got from the container store, which I think I need to take a clip of because I don't know if I got everything. So I'll show you guys how it is, how it's looking now. But um, it's Friday, last day of the work week for me. Um, I think the last time I checked in with you guys, I was working on a to-do list because I was feeling really unproductive and not getting a lot of stuff done. Um, it took me like three days. What was that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Yeah, it took me three days to get through my list of stuff that I needed to do. 
And then I added stuff to my list and I still have, now I have a new list. I have a new list of stuff that I need to get done. And I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've, I'm going to post this, but um, probably so, but I am going, I'm going to have, I'm going to be working on a new team. So because my company did a restructure slash realignment slash layoff. So Monday I'll be starting on a new team and I don't know quite yet what I'm doing yet. So I'm still going to be doing my current work, but I want to like get everything organized and together to possibly hand it off to someone else. So that's what I'm working on today, getting those projects kind of wrapped up and neat because I understand how I work in my workflow, but someone else may not understand what I, how I do and how I get stuff done. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to, um, that's what I'm working on today. And um, I guess let me show you guys the alpha over the door closet system and what it looks like really quickly. And yeah, let's do that. Okay, so here is what it's looking like. Um, I don't know if I caught this, but um, this, this shaking sound, I didn't like it. Like when you open the door, you could hear all that shaking going on. I don't mind if I'm like it's shaking when I'm trying to like move something, pull it out. But every time I open and close this door, it was doing that. So what I did is I have these um, command strips here. I just put one of these Velcro command strips on the back of it and that's helped. So when I move the door, like when I'm opening and closing the door, it's not doing all that shaking. But what I've done is at the very bottom, I just have some um, cleaning supplies, toilet paper, paper towels, hand towels, trash bags, sponges and gloves, duster, a light bulb. So pretty basic stuff that I need. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. And I may rearrange it a little bit more, change some stuff out. But for now, this is what I have. And the shoe organizer thing from Ikea is gone. I threw that away. So, yeah. Okay, so um, on my lunch break now, um, hold on, hold on, somebody's typing something. Okay, so I'm on my, um, all right, so I'm on my lunch break and I have some, I have an assignment I need to turn in for my class that's due today. So I'm going to submit that and I'll probably just grab something to eat after I finish this. It's one of the items on my to-do list. So while I'm on lunch, I'm going to be doing that. I did actually enroll in my next class for spring. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to be doing on my lunch is just submitting this assignment, doing my um, peer discussions, possibly, if um, everyone uh, or a good amount of people should have already submitted their stuff so I can do a response. So I'm going to do my peer discussion, submit my assignment, and and grab something to eat. And I wanted to ask you guys something because as I mentioned earlier, I'm moving to a new team and one of the teammate or one of the new, one of my new teammates, coworkers reached out to me saying, hey, let's schedule a monthly coffee session where we just chat and catch up. Is that something y'all do? Because it's not something I've done on my current team where we just have like a monthly chat with one another because we're not in the office and maybe I'm just very antisocial because I don't see the need to maybe that's just me but I just my immediate answer in my head was no I, I don't even have monthly meetings to catch up with people I do know in the company so yeah um I wasn't a fan of that but that can just be me being antisocial and I probably need to get over it but I don't know what to tell this lady except uh Maybe not. I don't know. That's not me. I don't do that. But yeah, we'll see. I hope sh I don't want to offend anyone, and I know I can come off offensive. So we'll see.
Okay, you guys, I am done with work for the week. So I'm just going to end this video here and I will talk to you guys in the next one.